All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying my let's play of the excavation of Hod's Barrow, as well as Legend of Kirania, if you haven't watched that yet. Shameless plugs! Ooh. Uh, check out the Legend of Kirania at that link. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitch channel, all that jazz. Anywho, short, sweet. Shameless plug. Anywho, 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 where we left off. We're exploring Bewley. We've met some children, we met an old lady who's selling cake, and we are finished talking to Mr. Tillett. So, um, I'm guessing what I need to do next is go to the forest to find the priest. But first, let's see if we can go on the train tracks. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Doesn't look like... The tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. Okay, well let's continue onward and upward. Oh, Kitty! <gasps> Oh, it's Herbert! Herbert! Herbert, come back! I want to pet you! Herbert? Where did Herbert go? Herbert? Let's find Herbert! Did you see Herbert? There's nothing else I wish to discuss. No, we at the need moment. to find out where where did Herbert go? Where where did he go? I have nothing else to ask for the time being. But Herbert! I can't think of anything else to talk about right Herbert. now. Herbert! She's... She, I... Did, did, did Herbert go back to the bar? Did you see Herbert? Where is Herbert? I must say... Ah, oh, you don't want to go in the bathroom. Where in the world is Herbert San Diego? Ah, nowhere! Herbert? <laughs> I am determined to find Herbert. <laughs> I, I was not... Did you see Herbert? There's nothing else. Is he in the alley? No. Where, where is Herbert? Uh, let's go this way. Oh, oh, I haven't been here. Oh, I have not been here. Um, let's ex examine everything. Actually, there's a whole lot, I don't think. Door, window. Uh, yeah, let's explore. This house looks pleasant. I guess no one is home. Uh, let's go get this door. A warehouse. Let's go get the window. A storeroom of some kind is rather empty. Can I open it? A storeroom of no. some. I don't think anyone is okay. home. Okay. Um. Royal Mail, Postmaster's residence. This must be the local post office. Indeed, it is. Royal Mail. Oh, okay. This must so be that's it. Uh, I can't go anywhere here. I guess we'll just leave. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to do a quick potato intermission. Oh my goodness, my potato is a spicy potato already. That's it's a start to a great morning with a spicy potato. Anywho, sorry about that. Alright, so let's let's do the Herbert chase. Um I think we have to go to the church next. Because we went there. Um let's, let's just head to the church. I know I haven't gone into the church, if I remember correct. Uh, actually, before the church, I don't think I've gone over here to see if Herbert is around. I'm determined to find this cat before we advance the plot. The more no, can't go that way. Okay, so let's see if Herbert is over here by the bench. No, but this is a, I didn't notice the exit over here. I did not notice that uh, when I was here previously. Well, hello, random area. Why do I get this feeling this is going to be a huge, significant part of the plot later on? It's pretty. Nothing's happening. Oh. Oh, unless I move a little bit more to the... the, the right? A Karen. Karen? Karen? I've seen Cairns like this all over England. Quite common. Karen. Did I, did I say that right? The locals might be alarmed if I dismantle their can. 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 Okay. Can. 
I'll try to remember that. Oh, the, the exit. The moors continue for miles in this direction. I don't wish to lose my way. Okay, never mind. This is new. Good, good to know. I don't think there's an exit around here. So let's head back. Uh, let's explore that church. Oh, oh, Bun Bun! Bun Bun! <laughs> you're not a Herbert, but you're a Bun Bun. Uh, let's go to the church. Sorry, distracted. Quite easily. Um, alright. Actually, can I talk to you? Mrs. De Plancy is a... Hello, good day. Oh, oh, oh. Do, wait, did I? Is this new? No, I don't think it is. No, it isn't. Thank you for... Never yeah. mind, just, just forgetting things. <laughs> Goodness me, look at these box pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. Okay, uh, flowers. Those have seen better days. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. They're purple, though. That's that's pretty. A uh, plaque. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. A memorial list oh, of... Okay, they nothing new there. I do see the necklace. Is that a necklace? Uh, can we grab it? Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross. Sterling, by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Cool. I get this feeling it's uh, Father Roche's Roche. Roche? I, I forget how to say his name. I am a terrible person. Um, I'm going to guess it's his. Uh, but let's continue looking at the stuff in the church. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. Oh, weird. I didn't... That's weird. Every church I've been to, I've never seen pews locked. Weird. Okay. Sorry, I'm... I'm I wouldn't say I'm baffled by it, but, like, it's it, it threw me off a little. Extraordinary craftsmanship. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Okay, let's go to the window. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Okay, let's go look at the window. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my specialist area. Okay. Uh, the altar. Ooh. I've no time for such things. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. <laughs> um... Um, I thought that was, I thought that was volcanoes. Uh, anywho, let's get out of here. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, but well, how about this door? This leads to the church tower, I presume. It's locked. Okay, so nothing there. Uh, I don't... I think we can go left, although I'm going to check where the children are. There's no Herbert. Herbert! How did you go, Herbert? Uh, Herbert, I miss you. Please, next time I see you, let me pet you. End. Uh, okay, I guess we're going this way to where the father is. by something. I that's that that cutscene was very unsettling. I did not like that. That oh my goodness. I don't wish to look too closely. Okay, let's look at the vicar. 
The vicar looks dreadfully ill. Are you sure this is the only way, Father? I beg you. It's the only cure for this torturous malady. Okay, uh, the only thing I have to stab you with is this trowel. It's not sanitized, but let's try it. The trowel's blade is dull and rusted. I need something that will provide a cleaner cut. Oh. Oh, I need something a little more stabby stab. Uh, okay. Um, shoot. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. I guess we need to head to town. Sorry. Don't leave. You must help me. Oh, oh, I need something in the now. Oh, okay. Uh, can I go over here? Oh, I'm not going near it. It smells disgusting. Sorry, I quickly clicked on the vomit. Oh, I, I... Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. There we go. That's what I need. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, where are your eyeballs, dude? Where's... I just... The vicar's spectacles lie broken. Ouch! The broken... Oh, I need the glove. Oh my goodness. Use the glove. Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. Okay, no. Um, matchbox. Oh, handkerchief. Handkerchief with the spectacles. This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. This should work. Okay, now I guess we need to go stab a, a, a priest. Let's go. Stabby, stabby fun times. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes, it will cure me of my ills. I shall do as you ask, Father. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. God bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of St. Edmund's Church. My name is Thomasina Bateman. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, okay. From the top. Let, let, let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry, that's all. I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. Are you from Bewley originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there as a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, father. <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. Oh my goodness, so many dialogue options. Okay. St. Edmunds is a fine building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape, but our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. What about your congregation? Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. Thank you, Father. All right. Uh, yeah, where does he live? Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register? No need. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? 
I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do after you aided me, so. Capital. Thank you. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. I mean, we got all these dialogue options go through. So let's finish that. Maybe see if I can explore and then we'll head over there. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. Right. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. Okay. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. So let's just take a quick walk around here, see if I can find anything, and then we'll head to Leonard's place. Wow, the it's a lot of pixel work here. I say pixel work, I mean art. Ignore my weird words. Uh, let's look at the hole. No doubt home to many a woodland creature. Can we peek in it? I have no desire to go rooting about in there. Okay, I guess not. Uh, let's check out this exit. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. Oh, okay. Well, what are you guys doing? I guess we'll look at the man's. The men look like they've spent many a long day exposed to the harsh moorland weather. Yes, I'm aware I said man's. It is man. But man, 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 man's. Sorry, I'm being silly. Let me be silly. The men look like they've spent many a long day. Okay, so I guess we can talk to these gents. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Uh, from the top. Let me pass. Not today, by order of Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. There's nout even down there. You're not going to let me pass, are you? Now she gets it. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> from the top. My name is Thomas Cena Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomas Cena Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye. His lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Beaulieu? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions. Or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. I'm not done yet, but interesting. Interesting to know all this stuff. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? We're not done yet. I got two more conversa conversation points and then we're done. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have. Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. Oh, ruin. Yes, indeed. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. Good to know. All right, I think it's time to go to Laird's place. Father Roach still looks rather pallid. Okay, uh, oh, oh, we can ask about Lord Panswick? I believe that's how you pronounce it. 
What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Alright, I guess, yeah, we're going to Mr. Shoulder's house. Let's go. I'm ready to go to Mr. Shoulder's house. Excellent. I feel the fresh air will do me well. Follow me. Good morning, father. Good morning, Mrs. De Plancy. Mrs. De Plancy, this is Thomasina Bateman, a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, father. Excellent. Miss Bateman, don't hesitate to try one of Mrs. De Plancy's wonderful cakes. Yes, I've heard about her famous Bakewell puddings. I'll be here all day, young lady. But remember, once they're gone, they're gone. Those little whelps have already gobbled up all the gingerbread. You were doing God's work, Mrs. De Plancy. He smiles upon us, Father. Miss Bateman, if you'd like to follow me. Let's talk of graves, of worms, and epitaphs. Make dust our paper. And with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. Shakespeare? Right. Which play? Uh... Ah, oh no. Ah, ah. Ah. The one that shall not be named? The one that I... I... <laughs> oh no, I don't know my Shakespeare. Well, I want to say the, the one that shall not be named. Uh, oh no, Hamlet had a graveyard scene. Let's go Hamlet. I'm gonna be wrong anyways. So actually, can I save? No, you can't. No. Hamlet. Hamlet? Magnificent guess, Miss Bateman. But I'm afraid that passage ah. is from Richard II. Studying the work of the Bard is one of my favorite pastimes. Follow me. Damn it. Can I reload? <laughs> vast expanse of God's creation. The moors extend as far as the mortal eye can see. Beautiful, is it not? Oh, indeed, the moors are beautiful, desolate, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No, they're, they're pretty. It's fast and open, and it's nice. Indeed, the moors are beautiful. The beauty of God's creation is that it takes so many forms. How can one take in such a view and not have faith? Some look at these moors and think this a godless land. But I tell you, he is found in all domains. The Lord's work is all about us. Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? <laughs> Okay, so tell the truth. Father Roche, 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 I'm going to butcher his name. Seems prepared to hear it. A lie, you might want to avoid a tense situation. Let's be honest. I mean, the man is, has been quite a nice gentleman. So let's just be honest with him. I was brought up Anglican. The church was an important part of my early life, Father Roche. But what happened to my father eventually made me question things. 
If you don't mind me asking, my child, what happened to your father? He had an accident when I was very young. Come along now, Thomasina. Let's get out of the rain. Remember what I told you, all right? Be a good girl. People are unwell here. They don't want to hear you running about making noise. Understood? Yes, Mother. Good. And don't annoy the nurses. I promise I won't. Good. Now, let's see your father. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Mummy is crying. Mummy? Mummy? Uh, I guess talk to the dad. Or spot. Look at the dad. Daddy is sleeping. Daddy, wake up! Good evening, Mr. Bateman. Hello, little one. You must be Thomasina? Y yes My name is Nurse Blaketon. I just need to talk to your mummy for a little bit. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Bateman. Mrs. Bateman? Will he ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? The doctor is uncertain, Mrs. Bateman. There is the possibility that Mr. Bateman won't regain any movement at all. But we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst, ma'am. He will have a nurse by his side at all times, I can assure you. What sort of god would allow this fate to befall such a kind and honest man? I'm sorry to hear this. God moves in mysterious ways. But he loves us all. Hmm. Come along now. Hello. She scampered off in a hurry. Who was that? Some primitive folk make their home out on the moors. I suggest you keep your wits about you when you are exploring. And don't stray too far from Bewley. I see. How much farther to Mr. Shoulder's house? Still quite a walk, I'm afraid. But we'll get to him soon enough. Now then, take a look at this. Legend has it that this cairn has stood here for over a thousand years. How remarkable. The Devil's Toe. I beg your pardon? That's what it's called. The Devil's Toe. Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. We walked and walked across that vast, featureless landscape. All the while, Father Roach was whistling away merrily. Just as I had begun to wonder if we were hopelessly lost, a building emerged from the mist. Mr. Shoulder's cottage. Here we are, Miss Bateman. Unless my memory fails me completely, this is Mr. Leonard Shoulder's house. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. Now, now. No need to thank me after your providential assistance today. However, I have something to ask you. Yes? Please don't tell Mrs. De Plancy about my little scene in the woods. She will only fret. The poor dear woman has enough on her mind as it is. I shan't mention it. Thank you. You'd better see if Mr. Shoulder is in. I mean, I will. But first, I must acknowledge the hen and the roosters. Oh my goodness, look at them. How adorable they are. What breed are they? Clearly that is a rooster. 
clearly these are hens. Can we pick one up? Can we pet it? Can we be attacked by the rooster? Let's find out. A sweet little hen, plump and well-groomed. A fearsome-looking beast. I mean, they're not fierce. Uh, I, I shouldn't talk. I've been attacked by... Actually, no, I've been attacked by regular size roosters and tiny football size roosters. Oh my goodness. Do you want to know which one's more aggressive? The tiny ones. Actually, no, the big, the, the regular size roosters are pretty aggressive and can't be terrifying. But the little ones, oh my goodness, like your silkies and your bantams, they, they are aggressive. They will, they will run to you and go for the charge. I find the regular size ones will, but like you can at least like see them and see like see the behaviors the little ones it's like you can but like a little more um unpredictable from my experience uh let's see if we can pet one he looks much too unruly to be picked up can i pick up a hen here chuk 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 don't encourage them what you shut up pick it up pick up the hen <gasps> care to hold one father roach put that thing down would you you're no fun so wait, she'll pick up a she'll pick up a chicken, which might I remind you because she's picked up the chicken. She's gonna have to wash her hands because chickens, you know, they have some I wouldn't say diseases, but like I've been told, if you're dealing with chickens, like picking up the eggs, picking up the bird, cleaning out the the coops and everything, you gotta wash the hands because they are they salmonella is a thing with the birds. So wash your hand, lady. But like, so you pick up a hen. But you won't pick up Herbert, the cat. What is wrong with you, lady? <laughs> that's my that's my gripe here. She'll pick up a hen, but not Herbert. Yeah, see? He looks much Can I pick up this one? Oh, so you pick up that one too. But you won't pick up Herbert and pet their cat. Oh my goodness. I'm I am disappointed in this lady. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anywho, I'm actually going to wrap up the episode here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, shameless plugs as usual. Uh, let me know in the comments. Have you been attacked by a rooster before? Or have you dealt with a chicken personally? Let me know in the comments. Might as well get that comment discussion, like discussions rolling. Uh, <laughs> check out my Twitch channel. Like I said, I am streaming when I can. Uh, when husband's home, basically. And he can take care of the potato. Uh, currently playing some bad point-and-click adventure games to find out which is truly the worst one. Um, and also check out my Twitter. I do have a Discord as well. I don't think I've been posting the link in the description below. I need to do that. Um, and then usual, like and comment and subscribe if you haven't. And I think that's my entire spiel. Just bleh. Have a good morning, a good evening, a good night. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.